Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks in April, so April 1st through April 15th. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? We're going to start right here. I need a couple cards for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Taurus? Mmm. Capricorn. We got a big heart here. We have somebody that has a really, really, really big heart. It could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, could also be dealing with somebody... Uh, well, the Capricorn is a very earth energy, very stable, solid, secure, typically. You're obviously going to be dealing with a Capricorn these first two weeks. And it is something about opening your heart, following your heart, or you're dealing with a Capricorn that has a really big heart. You may have Capricorn in your chart. Well, obviously, you do somewhere. But this is a very big-hearted individual. Angel protection. There's some sort of angel protection here. You are protected. Something about protecting your heart as well. You may be protecting your heart. reversed interesting so this is fearful I think that you may be fearful uh, you could also be dealing with a Leo but if you think about the strength card in reverse there's some sort of fear here you are protected I don't think you have anything to be afraid of you're obviously this is fear lack of courage lack of confidence There's some sort of protection here. So I don't think that you have to worry. I really don't. Let's get let's get another one. Let's get a couple more of these. Hit and run. Oh my god. Hit and run. Now, pay attention to your dreams. The angels are giving you signs. Okay, you are receiving signs, probably through your dreams. Now, a hit and run doesn't have to be a car accident. You know, hit and run can be anything. It could be, you know, sometimes hit and run has to do with uh, it punching another person. It could also have to do, with, and then running away. This could be somebody that is, um, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but a hit and run could be somebody... You know, coming in for a sexual encounter and leaving. Okay? So this is like doing the deed and leaving. So somebody, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Leo. I don't know. There's somebody here that has a very big heart that needs to pay attention to their dreams, pay attention to the signs. There is some sort of protection here. What is going on with this Capricorn? Six six six. Now, th now, a lot of times people say that six 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 is a devil number, and we know that Capricorn is represented by the devil card. So we have some toxic energy here. I just, I just got to be honest with you. I feel like we have some sort of toxic energy that you need to break free from. This is a card of materialism. It's a card of needing to get your life back on track. Maybe you need to find your. Uh, no, Capricorn is very a very determined, strong sign. Okay, this is this is somebody who has to work hard to succeed and does succeed because of their perseverance. They don't give up. Don't give up. So maybe you have to take on that energy of perseverance. 
you know, this is getting your life back on track, stabilizing in some way. But there is some something that you need to break free from that is toxic. I'm sure of it because these are both devil energies. And, and I'm not saying that Capricorns are all devils. I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, based on the cards, you know, there's some sort of toxic situation in which you need to get your life back on track. Um, definitely. You definitely do. This is, this is, uh, some of you may need to, you may have some heart issues that you need to pay attention to. Pay attention. And when I say heart issues, you know, they could be actual heart issues or it's a broken heart or something like that. Pay attention to your heart. Hmm. There is some sort of protection. They're giving you signs. Pay attention. You're going to be receiving signs during this time. This is unable to master emotions, and, and it's mirroring this. So I'm wondering if you're dealing with somebody that can't master their emotions. You know, I, I feel like you that, you know, there could be, for some of you, there could be, if the, the devil is a very sexual, lusty energy. I think that you need to be careful. You may be tempted. You may be tempted to engage with somebody that, uh, you know, doesn't go anywhere or this, you know, this is like a, like a hit and run. It just is, that's exactly what it is. Hmm. Let's get some more cards. You're going to be receiving signs. You might need to protect your heart. Or you're dealing with a person that is protecting theirs. You could be dealing with somebody that is protecting their heart. Somebody's trying to get their life back on track. They are. Could be this Capricorn that you're dealing with that is it that is moving on because sixes are moving on. So somebody is moving on. You could be dealing with somebody that you know, doesn't want to open their heart because they don't want to be engaged in a hit and run. This is lack of restraint as well. So I think that there's going to be a strong temptation in these next two weeks. And I think it probably has to do with a Capricorn. Okay, I think it has to do with a Capricorn. Could have to do with a Leo, but my guess is it has to do with a Capricorn. Or a Leo. Sun card. Temperance. So there's going to be some sort of uh, exchange. Whew. There could be a reunion here. There could be. There could be some sort of reunion. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a birth of a new life. This is creating to bring balance and harmony. So I do believe we have a new beginning here. Obviously we do. Temperance is a card of healing, and this one is too. There's a healing energy here. Somebody is healing. They're healing. Maybe they're healing from a hit and run. You know, they're healing from something. Somebody is healing. Or they have healed. They've evolved. They're not the same person that they used to be anymore. This person has changed. Somebody has changed. And I think that I think that this is a breakthrough. It's a new beginning. I think that you have a new beginning here. Somebody may have broken free from somebody that was toxic and they've changed. They've evolved. I feel like this week you you will probably um need to be grounded, but you also need to be fluid. Okay, with this temperance card. Okay, you need you need to accept and allow and un try to try to understand you need to try to understand that somebody is no longer the person that they used to be. 
you are dealing with somebody who has gone through a period of evolution, okay? This person has gone to a better place, you know, they're in a better place. They've broken free from something that is toxic. That's what I think this is. And perhaps there's an angel that is bringing you back together, you know, or, or you're trying to get together with this person and something isn't working out. And I feel like it's not working out because there's a lack of trust. And I don't need any cars to say that. There's fear. And when there's fear, it's usually because there's trust issues. But we have somebody here that is not the same person that they used to be. And I don't, and I feel like they, I think this person has really worked on healing their heart. They have opened their heart. They have a really big heart. They may be looking for love, real love. And they're really paying attention to your actions. And they're paying attention to themselves as well. So anyway, I do feel like from the 1st to the 15th that there's... There's going to be some sort of exchange with this person. You're going to be exchanging, I don't know if it's words or you're going to be running into this person. You're going to be, and it's somebody that you know. This is somebody that you know, somebody that you have had a connection with in the past. I think that there's been strife in the past. There has. Maybe somebody, you know, like I said, with this hit and run, I feel like they've, they've, and in this, it always, for me, it goes from past present future okay but and I think right now there's a lot of fear whoever you are, are dealing with in the past may have betrayed you because a hit and run is a betrayal they may have betrayed you in the past or you betrayed them there's betrayal here okay but this is a breakthrough it is a new day it's a new beginning it's a fresh start you definitely have a new beginning here you do after something has ended okay because temperance comes after ending Man, one of my cards says God is rejection is protection for some of you there's a reunion and this doesn't have to be between lovers Ace of Cups. There could definitely be a reunion here. This is expressing love. There's a lot of love here. Love, love, love. There is love. Expression of feelings. A new start in love. A fresh start in love. This is extreme happiness, joy, bliss. Receiving emotional support. Things are changing. This is, this is happiness, enlightenment. Somebody's become enlightened. They're not the same person anymore. This is being in a happy place. This is, this is good. This is really, really, really good. So anyway, Taurus, whatever is happening, you're, this, is, this is a new start in love. And I think it's going to be making you very, very emotional. You may even have a new love that is coming in. Definitely dreams as well because this represents dreams and this is pay attention to your dreams. Okay, there could be some dreams that are coming true here. There is freedom from a toxic situation and I believe that there's an exchange for something better. We have a new start in love. This, this is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Pay attention to your dreams. The answer is yes. This is a yes answer. So there's a big hearted individual. This is a blessing. Both of these cards, somebody is receiving a blessing. There could be news of a child. There could be a reunion with a child or a reunion with a love. I, there's some sort of reunion here. This is going to make you extremely happy. It's interesting. On the bottom, we have the Three of Swords reversed. This is letting go of pain, letting go of the sorrow, moving on, healing energy, healing from the pain, things getting better.
So there is something, there's something good that this is on the path to recovery. Forgiveness as well. There may be some forgiveness here. So we definitely have a happy new beginning that is going to make you extremely joyful. Okay, this is like so happy. You're going to be so happy with the with whatever happens. In the past, there's been a betrayal, but things are definitely going to change for the better. Absolutely, 100%. You're probably going to have a hard time managing your feelings. These could be tears of joy. Okay? I feel like for some of you, there's a reconciliation here. Somebody has found the self-discipline to change. And they're opening their heart. There's a new beginning in love that is going to make you very, very happy. Oh my gosh, it is a wish being granted. I knew that it was. You have a wish that is being granted, Taurus. This is a dream come true. This is a spiritual blessing, like I said. Your prayers have been heard. Your prayers have been answered. This is what you asked for. This is. This is a renewal of some sort. This is a healing energy. It is unexpected. This is a blessing in disguise. After the tower fell, you are receiving something that you asked for. This is divine timing. This is, this is love. This is emotional fulfillment. This is yes. This is what you asked for. So yes, you, you, you're going to be glowing, glowing, glowing. I'm telling you what. You're probably going to be feeling really, really good. You're going to be happy. This is a wish granted. You've been wishing and hoping for something. The answer, whatever this is, the answer is yes. Yes. This is a dream come true, whatever it is. This is angel protection as well. We definitely have protection here. This week, you are going to be exchanging something for something better. You're going to be receiving something. You've been waiting for this. You've been praying for this. This is like a reconciliation or a reunion. It could also be a new start in love, okay? Brand new. Brand new with that Ace of Cups. That can be a new start, can be a reconciliation, but this is like a reconciliation as well. It could be a renewal. We have renewal in all of these cards. So we, and this is universally driven, universe, 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 this is majors, you know, we, the universe is driving a change and it is a very positive change. This is something that you prayed for. I think it has something to do with a Capricorn, could also have something to do with a Leo, could be an Aquarius, could be a Sagittarius, could be anybody. But there is some sort of angel guidance here. Both these cards. We have angel, angel, angel. I'm telling you, there's angel guidance here. You are, somebody is being guided to get together, to reunite with somebody that they are uh, meant to uh, create with. It's a very creative energy. This is like creating a new life. So whatever this is, this is this is extremely happy news. So you're going to be receiving some sort of happy news that probably makes you cry tears of joy. Whoever this person that you are dealing with has probably broken free from a toxic situation. And I feel like it, you know this could be a reunion, it could be somebody brand new. I feel like this is tears of joy. I really do.
good luck.